you want to transform any kind of the webcam or camera from something like this into something more like this well then this is the perfect video for you let's get to the setup the first thing you guys want to do is add your webcam to your sources click on the little plus button under sources and click on video capture device after you have done this rename it to whatever you want and click ok now you want to go to device and choose your webcam after this select your webcam or camera and scroll down to resolution slash fps type to this change this from device default to custom now depending on the resolution of your camera choose the maximum resolution possible if you have a 4k camera i still suggest using 1080p my camera supports 1080p 60 fps so i'll be choosing 1920 by 1080 click on your resolution and for the fps do not change it in any way click ok our camera looks something like this and this looks like Try! so to change this the first thing i want to tell you is to get some sort of lighting you don't have to spend any money on this if you want there are some options such as a softbox which i'm going to be using later in the video if you're sitting in front of a window make sure to open your blind so you can get as much natural light as possible now that i've opened my softbox and all the natural light is coming in this already looks a thousand times better another thing that i can give you as a tip for lighting is getting some rgb for your background you can get whatever you want i suggest also a floodlight which you can aim at a wall this option is going to cost you around 10 to 20 dollars depending on the quality of floodlight you get it is very easy very cheap and very effective i'm going to turn on all of my rgb products and i'll be back now that all my rgb products are on and this looks already way better but another thing we can do is change some settings in obs studio to do this you want to right click on your video capture device or camera depending on what you named it and go to properties after you're in properties you want to click on configure video now you're going to have a lot of options and this could look very overwhelming but it's very very easy the brightness is basically how bright it is as you can see if i make it really bright my face is really washed out and overexposed. So you're gonna make it that there are no white spots really on your face. I'll keep it as something like this. I think this looks good at 125. Obviously this, is going, this setting is gonna depend on your camera. And then for contrast, I would not really play with it unless your camera colors are really bad. For hue, I would not use this at all. Saturation is basically how overwashed your colors can be so right now i'm getting really really orange and the purples are getting really purple if i move it lower i'm going to look very very gray you want to have that your skin looks the normal color it is and also your environment looks like it usually looks like to you in real life the sharpness i would not play with very much as you make it as if you make it too sharp it's gonna look really grainy and pixelated and you're gonna have very rough edges i would keep this on normal something like 100 for the white balance i would highly suggest keeping it on auto because i don't know what's wrong with obs your camera finds a white balance that doesn't actually show which is very very weird and for backlight composition if you don't have very very good lighting and you have like on my wall some dark spots over there by turning this option on it's gonna eliminate that a little bit and make it more evenly bright for the gain i would again not suggest touching this if your camera looks really really bad you can play with this around until you get it to look good now my settings are not going to apply to all cameras since all cameras are different and they have a different image quality but these are the settings i use for my logitech stream cam after this you want to click ok and apply now you can click ok and our camera looks a little bit like this if you guys enjoyed that video we want more tutorials just like this one on, make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video by the way i do have a discord server which is linked in the description down below if you need any help or personal feedback on your streams or any kind of help make sure to join that